in the, in the areas of the country where the government has proven itself unable and, uh, or unwilling to defend the Negroes when they are being brutally and unjustly attacked, then the Negroes themselves should take whatever steps necessary to defend themselves. And one of the best methods by which this can be done is to establish rifle clubs. It's legal in this country to own a rifle. This doesn't mean that the Negro is going to initiate some kind of aggressive action among any, uh, against anybody, but it does mean that the Negro will be serving notice that no longer does he believe in turning the other cheek and being the constant victim of someone else's brutality. Is it your intention to have uh, all Africans go back to Africa? The, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says that the only solution for the problem is that our people, of which there are now 22 million, be uh, involved in a mass exodus back to our own homeland. But this is a long-range program. And, and while we are uh, orienting our mind toward going back in the direction of Africa, we have to live right here. And we, so we have to... We have my personal political philosophy, black nationalism, which means that the black man should control the politics of his own community and control the politicians who are in his own community. My personal economic philosophy is uh, also black nationalism, which means that the black man should have a hand in controlling the economy of the so-called Negro community he should be developing the type of knowledge that will enable him to own and operate the businesses and thereby be able to create employment for his own people, for his own kind. And the uh, social philosophy also is black nationalism, which means that instead of the black man trying to force himself into the society of the white man, we should be trying to eliminate from our own society the ills and the, the defects and make ourselves uh, likable and sociable among our, among our own kind. Well, you seem to be dissatisfied with everything. Just what do you want? I'm not dissatisfied with everything. Um, you, what you are able to see with your analytical mind is that everything that is offered doesn't produce what it's supposed to produce. And I'm just telling you that it doesn't produce what, it produ what well, it's supposed to produce. Well, what is your ultimate aim? The only way the problem can be solved. First, the white man and the black man have to be able to sit down at the same table. The white man has to feel free to speak his mind without hurting the feelings of that Negro. And the so-called Negro has to feel free to speak his in the mind without hurting the feelings of the white man. Then they can bring the issues that are under the rug out on top of the table and take an intelligent approach to get the problem solved. That's the only way that they'll ever do it. We need an action program while we are Muslims, or while we are Christians, or while we are whatever we are. We still need an action program that will eliminate these evils that are in our community. And this is what we're trying to do with the Muslim Mosque Incorporated. Do you consider yourself militant? <laughs> I consider myself Malcolm. I'm the poorest man in New York City. Well, I mean for this mosque you're going to build and for your movement. From poor people, poor people. We are going to solicit the support of all of our people. We're going to solicit the support, the support of everyone. It's just like establishing a church. You establish a church from the con uh, contributions of the people who are interested in seeing that particular religious philosophy spread. And we will get support not only from people who are interested in our religious philosophy, we'll get support from those who are interested in our political, economic, and social philosophy, which is black nationalism. If America can face the reality of the problem and the seriousness as it actually exists, we have clothes, and we have to have housing, uh, we have to have education, and we have to have jobs. And so... Would you call this a nonviolent movement? Uh, nonviolent... Nonviolent is a word that's misused today. Uh, we, I would call it a peaceful movement, uh, which reserves the right to defend itself whenever it is attacked. Well, what about your politically? Do you think that Negroes should belong to the major parties, the Republican or Democratic Party? No. Uh, uh, one of the greatest signs of political immaturity on the part of Negroes in this country is its, is its uh, tendency to identify.